Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I thought we'd do today is discuss a quick and easy way to make a rope ladder. And I think that knot work and rope work and things that you can do with rope to build simple machines and simple apparatus is a very important part of wilderness self-reliance. But the most important part of all of this is understanding how to do things and be able to recover the cordage without cutting it after the fact. So we need to use knots and hitches that enable us to recover it. And what we're going to use to make this rope ladder is called the Marline Spike Hitch. And I showed this hitch in a video when I did the camp stool. We were talking about the Marline Spike. And we're going to use that same hitch today to attach our rungs to our ladder using mule tape. Stay with me. Okay, so let's first talk about attaching our rope at the top. I've taken this mule tape and just doubled it over into half so that I can use these two pieces to assemble my ladder. And now I need to attach it to the top in something again that I can get undone fairly easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a timber hitch in here. And to do that, I'm just going to come around the pole and then come back up inside that loop and wrap it inside there three or four times, just like this. around it. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause a friction type hitch right there. That when I pull down on it, it's not going to slip. But when I want to get it out, it'll come undone very easily. And I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, now I've moved one of the lines out of the way at the top so that we're only working with one line at a time. And the simplicity of this is learning how to tie this Marline spike hitch. And it's very, very simple. Take the line, put your hand on the line with your thumb down. Turn it into a loop just like this over the top of your hand. So you have a loop that goes over the top of your hand. Be easier to do this without gloves on. And then just reach up and grab the line and pull it through to a loop just like this. And that's where you're going to put your rung. And when you drop that down on the rung like this, it will become a friction held Marline spike knot. Now if you tie this knot upside down, it's going to slide. As long as you have this the right way, this rung's not going to slide. And then you're going to need the same knot on the other side of the rung, and then you're going to go down with the rungs one at a time. So, again with this knot, you can see how easy that was to get out. Thumb down, hand on the line, turn it over your hand, reach through the loop, pull the loop through, drop your rung in the loop, and pull it down. And that will hold fast. Now, if you're using something slick like this mule tape, you're better off leaving the bark on whatever stick you're going to use. And you can see how easy that comes undone. You just pull it out, and it comes right out of the line. That's why I like this so well. It's easy and simple recovery of your cordage. Okay, so I just put four rungs in this ladder really quick. It's not very tall. It was just a quick example for you guys. But understand that if you've got a single pivot point at the top, it's going to be a little more shaky. If you don't have it staked at the bottom, it's going to be a little more shaky. If it's leaning against a flat object or something like that, it's going to be much easier for you to climb. But what I want you to understand is I'm going to get up on this thing and show you. This thing will hold my weight all day long. Not a problem. So, while it's swinging right now because it's on a single axis point, it's a very stable ladder to climb up and down on. Not a problem. I can bounce up and down this thing and it's not going anywhere. Again, the most important part of this is how easy is the cordage to recover. And it's exactly this easy. The knots come straight out as soon as you pull your sticks out, the knots come out. So it's almost instantaneous cordage recovery. Very, very simple. Now as far as this timber hitch that we tied at the top, we just grab that loop and pull down on it. It comes undone, unwraps, and our cordage is completely recovered at that point. 
Well guys, that was just a quick, simple, down and dirty way to make a rope ladder and be able to recover your cord as quickly. It's another great application for this mule tape. Like I said, this 100 foot roll right here probably weighs way under a pound. I mean, it doesn't hardly weigh anything. It doesn't take up a lot of room because it's flat and it has lots and lots of uses. But the important thing to understand is the different types of knots and hitches and what you can do with cordage because the simple apparatus and machines that you can make to make life easier for you is going to make you more self-reliant. I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining us today for this video. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our business, for our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.